might find the taping easier if we just sort of walked through the segment first. Yeah, yeah. this is so helpful. I, I know how busy you are. You are very, very brave to be here. And I just, I want you to know that I promise you your story will help other people. That's why we do this show. I never thought I'd be on television. <laughs> You know, I, I never, <laughs> ever would have imagined that I would have been on television either. But Amelia, my producer, she sort of just dropped out of the sky, showed up and handed me this career. And now I get to meet really wonderful, inspiring people like yourself. Are you Morgan's attorney? I'm a family friend. You asked for me, here I am. Everything you wanted to know about Sam, but we're afraid to ask. Take a good look, Jason. Sam's been using you all along. To describe details of the house fire, I mean, it was electrical, right? In the wiring. I never knew fire could spread so fast. Why don't we start with all the things that you did right? You were able to save your son. How old was he? Eric is three. But it's more important that people hear what went wrong so they won't make the same mistake. Absolutely. We want to alert parents to the potential danger. The baby's room was farther away from the fire. I told myself I could get my son out and go back for Rachel. The problem wasn't the flames. They never even reached her room. But the smoke did. That's what, that's what killed my daughter. Smoke inhalation. She suffocated. I, um, <clears throat> I lost my baby girl too. I Rub show placenta. My my baby girls stopped breathing in utero, and by the time they did a C-section, it was too late. Do you ever stop wondering about those few minutes that were the difference between life and death? And do you ever stop imagining what your little girl would be like? If only God granted you that tiny extra bit of time. <clears throat> the pain gets um, easier, or maybe, maybe you just get used to it. But no, uh, no, it never goes away. Angela was Sam's last alias. That's the name she used when she was married to Bill Monroe. Your father. My parents divorced when I was 10, wasn't amicable. My mother and I moved back to the East Coast. She took back her maiden name. My dad stayed in California, made a bundle developing real estate. I didn't get to see much of my father after we moved. Thanks to Sam, I never will. My dad called one day and said, congratulate me, I'm getting married. I thought, you know what, good for him. Everyone deserves to be happy. Then he sent a picture. I realized my stepmother was the same age as me. She was young, beautiful, obviously a trophy wife. We never met, me and my stepmother, mostly because I figured it wouldn't last. Not that age difference is a bad thing. Unless the bride cleans out your bank account and plans to vanish while you're at the office. But Dad got a call from the bank and came home early and caught Sam packing. It got ugly. It's all there in the police report. Angela was badly beaten, her left wrist broken. Seems that... Dad snatched the watch right off her wrist. Angela, Sam, had the presence of mind to get to the gun closet. She grabbed my father's shotgun and she gave him both barrels through the chest. Then she pleaded self-defense. Well, I am sorry for your loss. But it's got nothing to do with me. You couldn't be more wrong. Here tonight, uh, a few minutes. Even seconds Hi. can mean... Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. What are you 
doing here? You know, it's funny, I dropped Christine off at school and one of the moms came up to me and said that she really liked Everyday Heroes oh. and how proud I must be of you. See, apparently, Christina must be bragging about her big sister. And so I realized that you have this big, exciting thing going on and I seem to have missed most of it. So here I am. Thank you, and don't worry about it. We've both been really busy. It's just... You know what? The worst is over. So I think it's time for you to have a mother who supports you. Good. I mean, you know, I can always use all the support I can get. You know, for someone who, with a very fulfilling, exciting future, you don't seem very happy about it. I don't know. I mean, what's, what's that saying? Be careful what you wish for. I'm living example. <laughs> 